Taking stuff apart is a very big hobby of mine, dating back to my years as a toddler. I was not as sophisticated at it back then as I am now, but the affinity for dismantling gadgets to their bare components has not waned in any way. In fact, when I received delivery of this HP Envy back in 2018, I opened it up to see what's inside before I had even turned it on. But that's not the laptop we're taking apart today. I already took that one apart and you can watch the video here where I replace and upgrade some of the components that are inside it. Today, however, I have a shiny new Xiaomi screwdriver set and we're taking apart a Lenovo. One of the annoying thing about taking apart gadgets like laptops is that you strain your wrist removing all the screws. The screwdriver has a ratchet system built in to help reduce the strain when twisting that wrist and it's packing 16 different bits inside its handle. So by the time you're done with the screws, you're not as tired as you would be without this ratchet feature. I hope this one will motivate smartphone and laptop technicians to put back all the screws the way they were because they are always in the habit of always having spare screws after a repair job. There is a reason why gadgets have those many screws. Otherwise, to cut costs and maximize profits, the companies would have used less of them. 13 screws later, the job is done and the magnetic tips are a plus. They make it easier to pull out these screws from these little wells they're in. On this Lenovo, remember to remove the disk drive before removing the bottom cover because there are hidden screws for the back cover that are obscured by the disk drive. They also made it look like it has a removable external battery, but it's not. To remove this battery, you need to open it up and remove these screws to free it from the motherboard. Seems a bit unnecessary, doesn't it? Next up are the cables and connectors which go to stuff like your keyboard, touchpad, speakers, and your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna which are hidden in the display. The keen-eyed would have noticed that this laptop does not have a fan or radiator. Instead, it uses this metal sheet as a heatsink to move heat away from the CPU that is under this section with a square indent. There is a sequence of removing and returning these screws that secure the heatsink on the CPU that you definitely want to pay attention to. These two chips are the 4 gigabytes of RAM that come with this PC. There is no way to expand it, so what you see is what you get. There are two empty bays where more RAM chips could have been added. Underneath is a CMOS battery that maintains the state of the BIOS on the motherboard. The hard drive is supposed to be in this cage, but it is missing and would much rather love to add it back to this PC. It is dead though, so I'll need to replace it so I have a PC for emergencies or experiments like these. When putting back the heatsink, you will need to follow the sequence just so that you get it perfectly aligned. Then you free all the cables and connectors and screw back the motherboard. If you have forgotten where the screws go, you can follow the little white triangles which will show you where exactly the screws go. Then we put back the battery and the screws that hold it in place and we put back the bottom cover. Here we start with the screws that are normally hidden by the disk drive, then insert the disk drive before fastening the rest of the screws. Usually when you put the disk drive last, it will not go in all the way, so just a pro tip there. So if you are a gadgets repair technician or anyone looking for a screwdriver set and you like what this one can do, you can get one at the Mi Store Zimbabwe. I'll leave their details in the description. Like and subscribe.